be going back to Gun Home tonight. We might be finishing up this game today because the only places left I have to investigate are the basement, which I'm not looking forward to whatsoever, and also the attic, which I think will probably be worse than the basement. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. We should be right at the basement door. And I'm probably gonna need my pillow, just like last time I. Oh man, yep. Okay, I got this. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, like the attic. Ugh, yeah. I know this is gonna be bad. If the game is just like progressively getting like more and more intense. Mm, okay. All right, we're good so far. What do we got going on down here? Okay, everything's looking good so far. We got, we got a light there, which I'm pretty happy about. Shit. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Okay, that's good. Gosh. This basement's not even like. Completely unfinished. Like, what's up with the walls? Like, I would be terrified if I saw that in my basement. <laughs> Fuck. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I'm really. <gasps> what the fudge? What the fudge? What is that? I'm really trying not to cuss on my stream. What is that? Oh, I see my notes like a beanbag. Okay, I think we're okay. This doesn't look that bad. Potato chips. Potato chips. What kind of potato chips are these? Judy's original potato chips. Oops. This actually doesn't look doesn't look that bad down here. Like, it's very ominous though. I kind of was expecting to see like a dead body or something. Okay, what do we got here? Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. A fancy man, quite. Aww. Dear Mr. Soto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Wait a minute, what? Dear Ms. DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who was a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again, same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madam Samantha Greenberg Esquire. I love seeing like items like these right now because this is like I just need to see like comforting stuff right now. How big is the basement? I wonder. Hmm. 
might actually be pretty big. What's that? Oh, I'm just looking. Like they totally know I'm down here. different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Mm. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say mm. I love you. Hmm. December 8th, there's such a big gap there. Okay. What is that bag? Does that bag just not look so weird? Doesn't look like it's anything, but... String, like what's fudge? Ah, I just really don't like this. Fudge, can I just back up and like, Fudge, where is the light string? Where's the damn light string? Oh. What's up with this again? Okay, here we go. She must have redid the assignment she did earlier. Health class, Miss Norton, reproductive system worksheet six. Blah blah blah. Left arm is down. Da, 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 da. Mm. Yeah, she like really one of her. Oh. Wait a minute, no way. So that's the difference between the two. So they both did the same assignment, only hers was completely different than her sister's. Crazy. What is this? Oh, wow. K is for kind, A is for amazing, I is for intelligent, T is for talented, L is for lighthearted, I is for important, N is for nice. But I don't have anything left to look at over here. Hmm. Boy, I really don't like that boiler. Fudge. Fudge, fudge. Course in practical pharmacy. Why is what's is that just like what's moving down there? Jane Masonic course in practical pharmacy. 
F N Appleyard, 1943. Can't look at this. Oh boy. Like it totally knows when I'm turning around or something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Storage. There's supposed to be ghosts in this house. <sighs> I just feel like I have to. Brace myself. What in? <gasps> what the fudge? What the fudge? What the fudge? What's going on here? What's going on? No! Why is her dad's photo taken out? Oh, fudge! Fourteen karat gold heart pendant in two halves, customizable with up to ten letters, names, dates, initials, anything you can dream up. Get boxed. Like, did her dad find out that that she's gay and had a problem with it, or like, I don't know. I kind of wish I like know what know what's going on with the story. I don't know. I just. What do we got? <gasps> no, why is there a door cracked? What is Oh god, I still don't like this. I just feel like I'm expecting to find a body or something. Examine newspaper clipping. Boone County Register, Mason's Pharmacy Soda Fountain welcomes Boone County Youngsters. Okay, Monday, March 3rd, 1959. Maybe this is going to go over the previous homeowners too, since there is ghost, like what, what that has to do with. Mason's Pharmacy Soda Fountain welcomes Boone County Youngsters. The cheeks of Goodfellow High School students were rosy today as each and every last one stepped up to the newly christened soda fountain at Oscar Mason's Pharmacy downtown. Following many months of renovations, including a brand new dispenser to mix fizzy water with any number of flavored syrups and a glass topped ice cream case from which to scoop, scoop, scoop to the heart's delight. Mr. Mason, long, a well-loved fixture of Main Street, looked overjoyed to welcome the throng of young people. The first sweet served up to, was it chocolate sundae? Terry Greenbrier, age eight. Nephew of Mr. Masson. Nephew. What is this doing in the house, though? anything over here? Did I get this book? Oh, this is one of Granddad's books. Joyce, a complete understanding. Richard Greenbrier, PhD, University of Oregon Press, 1961. Joyce, a complete understanding. I don't know what that is. What did that say again? Oh, this is one of Granddad's books. Did 
I read this letter? No, I didn't. Reed College Office of Admissions and Financial Aid, January 24th, 1995, Samantha Greenbrier, 1 Arbor Hill, Boone County, Oregon, 97141. Dear Samantha, congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 1995 session. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community based on your portfolio and academic record. I'm also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program tuition and fees. The attached documentation de delineates your schedule, optional secondary track choices, and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the three Reed full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded for exemplary students at the end of each summer program. We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission and best wishes from all of us at Reed College. Sincerely, Julie Morris, Director of Admissions. Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? Military. She said, to basic yeah. training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. I think we're good. I really don't like the look of this. Like that it looks absolutely terrifying. That's just like I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. Alright, yeah, get to that. You know what though? None of the other freaking rooms in this dang house had any lights on. I think that is the only the only room that's even had a single light on is that one right there. Steps. <gasps> like, is that creaking or the roof? Yeah, I really don't want that. Yeah, none of these binders ever have anything in them. Ugh, like I feel so sweaty right now. Uh, Mason's Pharmacy, January 3rd, June 1968, Ledger. No music whatsoever down here as well. Everything's on me right now. Huh. 
what is up with all these newspaper clippings? I mean, the newspapers, they're just everywhere. Grab postcard. Hey, Sam, I'm writing you from Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh, wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh, shit, here are you. tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for mm -hmm. that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little mm -hmm. lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for <laughs> hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said... You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole mm. other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Stick with the group, Katie. Oh, wow. There might be a whole slew more of these. I was thinking I was just going to go to the end of that page there. This game may be a lot longer than I thought. It just doesn't really look like I have that many places to investigate, though. I'm in the basement. Oh, I can only go up. opening son of a bitch. Mm. I just gotta do it. I mean either this game probably I would just say nope to but what the fudge what's with this corner? Is there anything around it? Damn it, there is a frickin' door there. Can I just hide here in these newspapers, please? <laughs> oh, wait. Mason's Pharmacy changes hands. Boone County Register, Friday, December 10th, 1965. Shoppers in Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about speculation that the deal had been signed for as little as $1, Mr. Samuel Onstein, Oscar Mason's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy, told the register, Specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason had taken sick and was unavailable for government. Well, that's not good. What happened to him? Still located on Main Street, but under new management. Why is he sick? I'm just not feeling this, like... long ass corridor like where is this to upstairs okay I still gotta go freaking back that way should I like come back this way damn it they are gonna freaking make me go to that other room in here 
Maybe it won't be that bad though. That's just what we gotta hope for. It's just what we gotta hope for, kids. It's just not gonna be that bad. All right, so let's go to this creepy ass. What is that? Ooh, it's a bathroom, I think. <sighs> Shit. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything too. What fuck? What is this? Sorry, sorry for cussing. Servants' quarters. Why is our servants' quarters a dumb? Mmm. Yolanda DeSetto, C.O. Hector, and Marie DeSetto. Soto, seven eighteen Valley, Estada, Mexico, Mexico. Miss Samantha Greenbrier, one Arbor Hill, Boone County, Oregon. Roar. Okay. Dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson: Fly Mosca, Hubcap, Topic Cube, Cubes, Sunbeam. Rayo de Sol, your love to Amor. I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together. And I start thinking of you again. But I tried... I like you in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. Well, I have to spend so much time in the dark room. Two more, Lonnie. X-ray specs. X-ray specs like the day we spend time down here. Ooh, fudge! We got a mixtape. We gotta get in there. Those creepy freaking mixtapes again. Gosh. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout, Cub Scout, <clears throat> plus one, set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self, Girl Scouts, denial. Mm. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got <laughs> sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, and she was like, probably. Mm. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement mm. today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out mm. in June. But till then... I'm going to be at every single show. 
that say examine form samantha greenbrier one over hill oh okay she ordered those pendants yeah two half heart pendants custom engraving l and s cash paid and pay balance bernadette gabinski when did she buy those 12 10 94 Okay, 1210, 1294, okay. That was all the way back, back in here. Ugh. <laughs> all right. Throw this puppy in here. Her map. How big is this room? I just like that. I want to know how big the rooms are. Uh, fudge. No, no. Oh, wait a minute. Greenhouse. How does this differ from our floor plan? Oh yeah. So we're missing the greenhouse. We're missing everything off to that side oh so wait a minute yeah we still have two more areas to unlock we have what looks like the kitchen area over there to the right and then we also have the attic okay so i'm not i thought i was getting kind of don't mess with me don't mess with me creaking so yeah we're missing 
foyer. That whole area to the right there, is there anything behind the foyer? I don't think so. Can I like, can I do it like this maybe and be able to see? Okay, I mean, it's just set up a little bit differently. There's that and that, and then the foyer. Out and everything. Okay, yeah. So we're missing that whole section right there. All right, yeah. Oh, wow. All right, what do we got here? Creepy Terry, age 12. Dude, this is the house he grew up in. As a child, yeah. Weird, so the parents moved back to his childhood home. Is that? I can't see. What's that say? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Order this month two something brandy, whiskey, one whiskey. Followed with. Boone County, I believe this arrangement shall hold for some time. WR March 29. I can't even. Oh man, this reminds me of like the other room that was dark. Why don't I have a freaking flashlight? Like, yeah, this is messed up. Please, no, I don't want to go in here. What is a circle? Does that look like a circle to anybody? Fudge. Okay. I see a circle there. And please tell me there's not anything in here that I need to see. Okay. No. All right, I can go. That was just some weird ass broken light. So we're going back. Um, ugh, my palms. Back this way. And we are supposed to be going up the stairs, I think. Yeah, so we're heading to the junk room and going up those stairs. We still got a combination though, so at some point we're gonna have to go back down here. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Nothing seems to be going on. Dude, I don't. I just don't like these long corridors. Like, what's in that middle area right there? Fuck. Is it nothing? I just want to believe it's like... 
No, please don't do that. Bratmobile, the review, the review, gurneys, a plume, fifth column, four bucks. Examine scraps, costumes, skeletons, and double cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. <laughs> Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. That's a lie to mom and that's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Yeah, like what's this light on here and here doing on too like what's up with this i don't i really don't what? this room is so dang big oh no the cassette tape we thought eric could fill a senior high school Sheldon Grossman, Principal, blah, blah, blah. Samantha Greenbrier, Want Arbor Hill, Boone County, 97141. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed an initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. While well, I understand that Ms. DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which, is I, be which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Um. I don't get mommy sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know like it was no big deal this from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor mm. i've learned when to stop arguing though i don't think lonnie even gets lonnie sometimes mm. april 10th okay I feel like we're finding out so much information just just even in this basement. There's no question about it. That is definitely, that's definitely a door opening or something. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, um. Girl, justice now. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the creepy game. It's just creepy and unnecessary. <laughs> Potato chips? Mmm, potato chips sound pretty good right now. All this, uh... <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Alright, what do we got here? Woman outlaws. That'll show ya who runs things around this joint. She's tougher than a wild mustang. No female's gonna tell me. Hmm. Drive Highlander. No, it's about to roll up. It's about to roll up. And there it goes. Are you 
crazy. Why would I ever turn that highlighter off? You're absolutely nuts. Like, no way I would do it. What is wrong with you? Let me add this. It looks like she was... <gasps> Budge. What was that? Seriously, dude. Mm. Sock! Missing sock! But they need to be reunited with each other. Alright. Heavens to Betsy, terrorist side A. Ugh. Um. Moses. Cassette tape. Cassette tape. Go cassette tape. Here we go. This might be creepy. No, just like all the other ones. progressive again. Game, but like this last little area and I'll be going back upstairs so Is there like a way I can flip it over? Wait. the other sides of it by like not mm -mm. it still looks like it's just flipping back over right, I, just make... I just wanna make sure I wasn't missing anything mm. wipers Captain A want Rev Rev one revolution. Maybe Lonnie had like a bad influence on her. I'm assuming maybe two. This one's for you, Grossman. Captain A had enough. A great a fellow of heard enough. Heavens to Betsy at X-Ray Cafe. Okay, yeah, X-Ray. Wednesday, April 13th, all ages, girls to the front. Bratmobile. Creepy. 
maybe. Yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't look good, I don't think. And it's kicking against the patriarchy, the good, great, good fellow, right of 95, revolution, issue number one. What does that say? Oh, this one's for you, Grossman. She's tougher than a llama. Oh, wow, girl justice now. Stand up, fight back, her and enough had enough. Ready to join the revolution, take a stand against Grossman and the patriarchy? Yeah. Maybe you just want more cool zines, zines? Or maybe even a mixtape. Send us your missives from the girl, right? Underground, P.O. Box, Oregon. Hmm. Where I don't know. Shoot. That's like one of those freaking secret areas, I think. Shit. Why is that so creepy? Damn, I really just want to get through this. <gasps> Where is this? Hold on. is this? I might actually stop here because it looks like there's it looks like there's so much more to this basement that I was expecting and I almost kind of want to switch to like one of my like more shuttle games right now it's like my um, Mystery Leighton game, because this is just, like, oh, it's giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna, like, back up a little bit, and then go ahead and pull back into this room and save. Urgh, I just don't want to see anything. I just want to, like, turn around. Oh. Ugh. It just looks like the upstairs, the creepy ace upstairs. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save right now. Gosh, I really should close that panel. All right, but that's okay. We are gonna go ahead and save, and then I'm gonna be back to play um, Leighton's Mystery Conspiracy? Millionaire Conspiracy, something like that. And yeah, I'll just be back here in probably like five, 10 minutes, maybe at most. All right, thank you so much for watching.